Once again, I'm questioning GPS's ability to find places. I forgot my vest. It's 24 degrees, there's no sun. A little concerned about that. I cannot let them dip their paws in water. I don't know what we're gonna do. If you boys jump in the wrong spot, we're gonna have to go back to the car. Ready? Heel. morning YouTube. <laughs> YouTube welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog Lotus Enzo this is a vlog sometimes we do like German Shepherd tips and information videos other times we do vlogs this is actually gonna be a bit of both hey hey save it for the trails we are going hiking to a brand new park for them I think I went there once as a kid but it's been obviously a while so we're gonna go on a massive trail it's like 16 miles long we're not gonna go that far neither them or myself had that kind of endurance hey we nail trimming is that what we're doing bless you bless you we have about an hour drive to get there so we got to get going this week we are headed to East Fork Lake which is about an hour to an hour and a half east of Cincinnati depending on traffic as I mentioned a couple videos back, one of my goals with the channel this year is to visit some new places which are going to require a bit of driving. Once again, I'm questioning GPS's ability to find places. It's getting colder though, 24 degrees. Alright, so the first thing is get some use to the car. It's taken us probably about an hour to get here. Chances are hiking trails not near your house. You have to drive at least somewhat. They're fairly used to it, although Lotus still gets anxious just for whatever reason. Lotus, down. But Enzo is obviously completely fine with it. So for all you who ask questions about car rides, how do you get them so well to be in the car? Go on car rides. I forgot my vest. It's 24 degrees, there's no sun. A little concerned about that. Why is a vest important? Well, because it's heated. <laughs> This is like an eight mile trail, but it's like an out and back, I think. Obviously, we're not gonna do 16 miles. We're not even gonna do eight. We're gonna do maybe two or three at most. Uh, but my cold may affect that, so we gotta get moving. All right, so we've come across our first problem, and that is this little stream here. 24 degrees. I cannot let them dip their paws in water. So, I don't know what we're gonna do. A few moments later, I have to give up. I spent a good 20 minutes trying to like build a walkway, but the problem is all the surrounding rocks are frozen to the ground. It's too cold for them to be sitting that long. This way. I don't know if it was 20 minutes, but it was at least like 10, 10 or 15. So I may have ruined my gloves in the process, but we tried. I think this trail goes the other way. I wasn't sure of that. That's why I went this way, um, but we're going to find out. Boys, we have a crossing. Now this one, especially with this side being higher, I think we can jump it. Heel. Oh, good boys. Good boys. Good job. Good job. Trust me, there's no toys in there, just water. Good job demonstrating the physical portion Lotus for us there. But yes, physical activity isn't obvious, but specifically with German Shepherds, getting them that low impact, the running and stuff, um, but they're not like full on sprinting after a ball I can fetch. Add to that the mental stimulation part. There's so many new things to smell, especially, I mean, I think even if we went to the same hike every time, there would still be so much for them because the deers and squirrels and everything go through there. But the new parks definitely is a cool factor and it really just helps me, you know, so you as the human, uh, gives you something new to look at and kind of check out. I guess in case we have to cross a river again. If you boys jump in the wrong spot, we're gonna have to go back to the car. I need you to jump right here. Heel. Oh, heel. Okay, well, um, that works too, I guess. <laughs> See what I, I mean? Like they're not dumb. Like they know they don't want to get in the water, but they're also, you know, pups, you know, dogs. <laughs> the water isn't going to slow them down if that's the only thing in the way. I don't know if you guys quite grasp hypothermia. Oh, you do? Okay. This also helps with some other things, you know, shepherds especially, they need a lot of exercise. And so many times I get messages or comments, people, you know, 
behavior issues. And I would say eight, nine times out of 10, most of those issues would go away if they just exercise them the proper amount every day. If you followed along much at all, you know that Lotus is super anxious, has a lot of anxiety. Hiking doesn't cure it, but I will tell you that a tired pup is a less anxious pup. A tired pup is a less stressful pup for both them and you. Not only with behavior issues, but you know, stress and anxiety. FYI, good for human stress and anxiety too. Yep, just good all around. Oh, good boys, good boys. Come. Yeah, they're still gonna, aw, oh, Enzo. Buddy, that's what we're trying not to do. Buddy, what are you doing? All right, so we did hang back for a minute and I worked on drying his paws. I think we're okay. We're almost to a point where we're gonna head back anyways, but I'm gonna keep a close eye on him. Just make sure we walked around the soft sand a little bit more and let it kind of dry out. So I think he's okay, but again, not what I wanted to happen. I wish I would have brought some towels. Did not think about that. So something else that may have been, you may have noticed is that we've had to do a lot of training. Even though there's no other people here, we haven't passed a single soul. Uh, Lotus come, just like that. Lots of calm, lots of heal, lots of sit. Um, sorry, break. <laughs> he was like, wait, uh, lots of things like that. When we go to the park and we're just kind of walking around, a lot of times before we leave or at some point in the middle, I will actually do like a mini training session with them for like five or 10 minutes just to kind of work on the training, work on mental simulation, work on, you know, just whatever. But with the hiking, I don't need to do that because we're doing it constantly. Now, another thing is socialization. Now, I purposely chose this trail for two reasons. One, it was far enough away that I figured this time of year, where it's located and everything, we wouldn't run into anybody. So far, so good. I also chose it because it said horses weren't allowed. That is incorrect. Horses are definitely allowed on this trail. It says so on the signs. There haven't been any issues. You know, I've seen some footprints, but no like droppings or anything. So that's been good. Stay on the trail. I mean, he usually goes off the trail a little bit and I have to get him, but man, today he's just like, Non-stop, must be lots of good things to smell. I chose this specifically to not have anybody on it. There are times where I specifically choose trails to work on socialization. One of those being uh, a little less than a year ago, we went on a trail for a couple hours, but it was also a popular mountain biking trail. I can't even count how many mountain bikes. They were at a point where they were both kind of unsure around bikes. And by the time we left, and really to this day, bikes don't bother them. Lotus has a lot of issues, a lot of things that scare him and that bother him. Bikes, not really one of them, even to this day. Uh, boys, I think this will do it. So I've been watching Enzo. He's fine. Come. Lotus. Lotus. Thank you. But yeah, I said we were, we were getting close to turn around anyways. And this will pretty much do it. Lotus, come. Now, if we were going to continue, I could really just go there and have them jump. But honestly, this is as good a spot as I need to turn around. I think we've covered it all, but I'll check. And if not, we'll pick this up at the FJ. Boys, be right back. <laughs> I forgot this was recording. <laughs> you boys weren't tempted to eat it. You didn't care. We got about 47 minutes, GPS says. It's gonna be a bit of a drive. <sighs> Go potty. Well, after about five hours, we are home. I'm exhausted. They're exhausted. I can tell. I mean, they were both laying down on the way home. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Hope you got some uh, usefulness out of it. Appreciate you guys as always. Subscribe for more German Shepherd content, and we will see you. Who are you smelling? Did you have a good day? Yeah. See you on the next one. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, ready?
Thank you. Oh, good boys. 